look at the lake. And the ducks. Oh, so beautiful. So I was interacting with one of my clients this morning. I'll let you guys just look at the lake while I talk. And she's an acupuncturist. Well, she's getting her acupuncturist license and she's a masseuse and has been a masseuse for a long time. And she's starting to open her own business. She's very excited, but she's also very nervous. She's very nervous about, one of the things she brought up to me um, was I always call her the masseuse of masseuses because she's amazing. She climbs all over my back and she's just, she's so good. She is, for me, she's the masseuse of masseuses. And I was helping her with her website and a couple little glitches in her energy is this. Number one, she doesn't want to call herself masseuse of masseuses. She doesn't want to give herself that title. And she's all, well, what if somebody asks me, you know, who says that about me? And I'm like, who the fuck cares? Who cares what anybody says about you? The only thing that matters is what you say about you. If you're going to call yourself the masseuse of masseuses, then number one, you've got to rise up to that level. But number two, you're putting out that energy to the universe, and that is exactly what starts coming back to you. And then I also told her, and if anybody asks, you could tell them, I say you are, because I'm the foremost authority in this reality, because this is my reality. <laughs> That's another subject. But number two, she's a little nervous about... Um, telling people that she's an acupuncturist because she's only just starting and she's worried that she's gonna have somebody comes to her that has um, a problem that she doesn't know what to do with so she's all very you know instead of just doing a cannonball into the lake she's sticking her toe in and pulling it out and going oh I don't know and mm, I don't know and so what I told her is this I said you know you just got a cannonball y you know it Everybody is nervous and fearful the first few times they're stepping into what they're going to assume is an unknown reality world taking on a new job. But I'm gonna tell you this, number one, no, you will never have anybody come to you with a problem that you can't handle. I promise, I promise, I promise. And this is what I work with in my mentorship. I work with my clients on this. I help them to develop the confidence and the understanding that the universe, you're not alone. You are not alone in any of this. Look at that. The universe has got you. The universe has got your back. It's time to drop all those yeah buts and those fears. Because truly, all these things that she's bringing up had nothing to do with why she truly was not just doing it. Just putting her business out there. And I understand, you know, we all, we all pussyfoot around for however long. But at some point, you have to own your amazingness. Amazingness. Is that a word? Amazing meanness? You got to own it. So instead of, her, you know, I had to keep interrupting her when she's trying to tell me all her yeah buts. I finally, I said, listen, tell me about you. Tell me the amazingness that is you. Tell me, tell me what the universe would be bragging about you. And she, it took a little bit, but she finally started going. She finally started talking about how this client loves her and has been coming to her for over 20 years and how people are always telling her she's she's got such a touch she can find boy you can have the most hidden knot and boy she finds it and she's never too hard never too soft and she's always just right and it, I was so sad when I moved away from where she was because I'll never find another masseuse like her and she just started gushing she started gushing about how amazing she is and I'm like yes those are the thoughts you got to hold on to all you those are all the thoughts you've got to you've got to hold on to in your mind <laughs> that is a big puppy he's gonna get enormous oh yeah i know i know you want to go swimming huh buddy <laughs> i don't think your mom wants that <laughs> no so if anybody is asking you which they're never going to do but if anybody's asking you why why are you you know, calling yourself the masseuse of masseuses. Where do you have, where do you get off doing that? It's embarrassing that you think that so highly of yourself. 
The only reason they're doing that is because they're so used to playing so, so small. And your bigness and your brightness is intimidating them. You're not intimidating. They're intimidated and there's a big difference between the two. You are stepping into your brilliance and when you do that, you give others the permission to do the same. So call yourself the teacher of teachers. Call yourself the masseuse of masseuses. Call yourself a multi-millionaire before you're even there because it's up to you. It's what you think about you that creates your reality. Take care, you guys.